Hi guys! I welcome you to the famous castle of Dracula in Transylvania. After almost seven centuries of existence, the castle is today the medieval architectural jewel of Transylvania and the ambassador of folklore born deep down in its history. It served several purposes, a transit point between the east and the west, a defense point against foreign inventions. In recent history, the castle changed from being a royal residence, home of Romanian's most beloved princess, to a state-owned museum during the state communist era. In 2009, Brand Castle has returned to life as the most popular tourist destination in Romania under private administration. The two iron doors opening towards the Queen's bedroom are the oldest interior element of the castle dating back to 1693. This chamber was decorated by the Queen with two Byzantine trifolia that were sculpted in marble and brought in from Greece. On the walls alongside the steps and in the bedroom, fragments of the castle's original paintings can still be seen. These date back to the time before the restoration done by the Queen. The hallway. It draws its name from the days it connected the Queen's chambers on the first floor. In medieval times, it served as the vestibule to the castle's chapel, which used to be in the next chamber. Today, the hallway is dedicated to the castle's history in the 19th century and to temporary exhibitions. Music room. Designed by the architect Karen Limani, the music room is situated in the old attic of the medieval fortress. The room has a rectangular light, the ceiling has beams, the windows are set deep in the wall, and an open fireplace on the east side. The fireplace, built in 1921, was equipped with a grate, a basket, and wooden benches that reminds one of a Romain traditional architecture. The music room became one of Queen Mary's favorite places. The terrace. Built in the fortress of Eric, the terrace has a granulated rampart, reminding of the old firing holes. From here to the south, one can observe the customs house and the old commercial road. To the north, one can see the wooden structure of watchtower. After the terrace, you find yourself in a room where goats are illustrated in the form of girls and farmer Alexander as the victim. In this room you will see a terrifying cleaving picture of an ungrown vampire hunting. They are also old objects that maybe were used by vampires or just people. In the other room is an illustration of how a girl is kidnapped by a wolf. It also says about werewolves who kidnapped this girl. The Royal Dining Room Next to the king's bedroom, Queen Mary prepared the Royal Dining Room. In 1947, the silent beams were painted with geometric and digital motifs and the coat of uh, arms of the most important Transylvania cities. Archduchess Eliana transformed the chase space into the children's playroom. The corner of the fireplace became one of the favorite spots of her children, today the owners of the castle. The Loggia. Built in 1922 following the architect Carl Lehmann's plans, the Loggia, with its open arcade space in the inner courtyard, was designed as a summer dining room during the interwar period. The Loggia offers a view over the inner courtyard, the round tower, and the medieval well. Then we go down and find ourselves in the mini courtyard. There will be a well and on the left the entrance to the mysterious tunnel. Now we are going down on 35 meters.
1937, Queen Mary decided to place an elevator into the shaft of the well that was going to connect the royal park to the castle through a horizontal gallery designed by the Czech architect Karl Lin. The Queen had a little time to enjoy the comfort that the particular elevator was providing before passing away in 1938. During the communist era, the elevator was abused, massively damaged and conventionally abandoned. Ho 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 ho.